And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. I don't think Ice Cube knows who the puppeteers are. He understands that there are puppeteers and he can tell from his own experience both. Seen Diddy Combs, the man behind Bad Boy Records, has long been regarded as a titan in the music business. However, fresh material calls into question his spotless reputation. Ice Cube, who is used to controversy, has fueled the flames by criticizing Jay-Z and Beyonce on his own. What could have been the cause of this startling finding? Come along with us as we explore the shadowy corners of the music industry, where secrets can have deadly consequences and friendships are tested. Let's take a closer look at the pasts of two well-known hip-hop musicians, Jay-Z and Diddy, whose lives are closely connected to a web of illicit activity and ambition, in order to have a better understanding of the complex world of current claims. These were two people from humble beginnings who were familiar with the seedy streets of their respective neighborhoods. The actual scene Corey Carter, better known as Jay-Z, was forced to deal with the drug trade while residing in Brooklyn's Marcy housing projects. For him to survive, he had to be cunning and inventive. He said that understanding what you can afford and what you need to refill is essential to being in the drug trade. There won't be much longer, so you'll soon need to organize your escape. Like Diddy, formerly seen Combs, he began his career as an intern in radio, but his ascent to prominence was not without scandal. He co-hosted a celebrity basketball game during which a terrible stampede resulted in the deaths of nine individuals, raising questions about his judgment and accountability. Still, he didn't give up, founding Bad Boy Records and rising to prominence in the music industry. Their paths crossed during the notorious East Coast V's, West Coast conflict that attracted worldwide attention and claimed the lives of legendary rappers B, I, E, and Tupac Shakur. Diddy and Jay-Z, nevertheless, never took part in the violence directly. Their lack of faith has given rise to an endless web of rumors and theories. But despite everything, their friendship became closer. They became close friends and confidants in a profession that rarely finds loyalty but values it when it does. We are competitive by nature, Diddy said. We intended to portray it negatively at all times. I told him this year we had to give it back to its original owner. Their bond seemed strong, as if it had been forged in the fire of adversity. But recent occurrences have cast doubt on their formerly strong connection. Ice Cube's explosive allegations, which might make public facts hidden behind riches and stardom, have rocked the corporate world. Ice Cube's shocking revelations have revealed injuries that were thought to be healed. With a name that rocked the music world, he mentioned Beyonce and said that Diddy and Jay-Z were involved in each other's illegal activities. You really could hear rather well. Despite her faultless public image, Ice Cube asserts that Beyonce is far from innocent and is aware of her husband's and his closest associates' illegal activities. Ice Cube says they have a secret deal where they cover each other's tax since everyone has dirt on them. This alarming finding paints a picture of a deceitful network so well designed that even the most well-known authorities in the subject are susceptible to it. Please throw away your images of hush talks and dimly lit back rooms. These are only accusations. But, it begs the issue of what more they might be hiding if there is any truth to them at all. What startling secret has Diddy been holding back? One that Jay-Z and Beyonce are aware of but have been concealing for years? Let's check out the private Puffy camp, where a new generation of artists is rumored to have been influenced by Diddy. Though it's often regarded as a secure haven for up-and-coming talent, there are a number of stories about darker, more sinister activities taking place there behind closed doors. Among all the murmuring one name stands out, Puffy Camp was once home to Grammy-winning R&B sensation Yuha Raymond 4. Startling information that suggests Busher's time at Puffy Camp wasn't the glamorous ascent to fame that one might have expected has been unearthed by investigative sources. Additionally, more recent interviews and court documents disclose a worse truth. It is said that Diddy was the one who mistreated and trained the victims. Not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I saying? I went there to see the lifestyle. Usher wasn't even a teenager when he and Diddy first began dating. These days, Usher is a well-known individual. Usher received training under the guise of developing skill, but ultimately became ensnared in a web of lies and cruelty. On The Howard Stern Show, Usher opened up about some frightening things that happened to him while he was staying at Puffy Camp. I acknowledge that sometimes it was difficult for me to make sense of the incredibly strange things that were happening. Usher disclosed, hinted at a shadowy aspect of the mentoring front. 
but Usher's cryptic remarks didn't start the concerns. Additionally, it was his resounding no in the Howard Stern interview, expressing his adamant refusal to send his own children to Puffy Camp. This sharp rebuke makes perfect reason, suggesting that Usher endured suffering or was exposed to horrors while growing up under Diddy's care. Furthermore, when Usher's former bodyguard Gene Deal recently made bombshell charges against him, it became clear what the true nature of Diddy's relationship with Usher was. In an interview with The Art of Dialogue, Deal provided a surprising narrative of horrific incidents that paint a troubling picture of life at Puffy Camp behind closed doors. Deal talked about an especially scary incident that happened at the Swiss Hotel. It showed Diddy having sex with multiple women while Usher watched on in silence. You knocked on the door. My responsibility is to let you in. Puff came into the room. You planted a kiss on the female as soon as you walked into the room. Deal recollected, highlighting the difficult dynamics occurring inside Diddy's close circle. Deal accuses Diddy of targeting Usher and other emerging singers with a system of manipulation and grooming that went beyond basic voyeurism. I'll let Usher give you a more thorough explanation now. I'll let Usher tell that story. But how can you attack a man who helped shape who you are? Please give him a break. Bro, you know I know, Deal said, implying that there is a sophisticated web of clandestine activities and cooperation that extends well beyond what is obvious to the unaided eye. But there have long been whispers and speculation about these accusations. They give credibility to rumors and hearsay that have been circulating for a while in the murky corners of the industry. Rumors concerning Diddy's effect on Usher's early career have long delighted gossip columns and insiders in the music business. One particularly unsettling discovery stems from an earlier charge that Diddy used to take Usher to crazy parties and expose him to a world considerably beyond his years. While some could argue that it was merely a mentorship strategy to give Usher an advantage, others might argue that it exposes a troubling pattern of exploitation and manipulation. It wasn't only about the parties, either. L. A. Reed, the CEO of Lafayette's Records at the time, revealed that Diddy played a crucial role in convincing him to keep Usher on the label when concerns about Usher's potential were raised. Reed admitted that he had considered cutting the young artist, but Diddy's unwavering belief in Usher's future success persuaded him to change his mind. This revelation further complicates the already complex relationship between Diddy and Usher and suggests that their relationship goes much beyond mentorship. Furthermore, because of subliminal clues and thought-provoking comments, allegations about Diddy and Usher's closer friendship have persisted throughout time. On The Howard Stern Show, Usher once made rambling references to strange things that appeared to be happening while he was in Puffy Camp. Although he gave no information away, the hint raised suspicions. Furthermore, intriguing glimpses into Diddy and Usher's interactions at private parties and business events have encouraged rumors that they have a closer-than-professional relationship. Film from lavish parties and studio sessions that has come to light implies a closer relationship between the two men. These long-standing concerns are coming to light in response to Ice Cube's startling claims, demonstrating the shadowy, enduring repercussions of the past that nevertheless cling to the present. The rumors, which were only whispers and murmurs at first, have erupted into a heated dispute that threatens to expose the secrets that the hip-hop elite is hiding. Let us return to Ice Cube and his startling accusations against Beyonce and Jay-Z. The tale gets more intricate as we take a closer look at the implications of these comments. Not only is it concerning what you might have done, but it's also about who else might have been involved in his purported transgressions. Ice Cube doesn't hold back when he claims that Jay-Z and Beyonce weren't just bystanders to Diddy's shenanigans. They focused entirely on the exercise. Think about the power dynamics at play in this situation. Three heavyweights of the music industry, each with an empire of their own to protect. If Diddy were to fall, who's to say he wouldn't take Beyonce and Jay-Z with him? Though disconcerting, the concept adds even more complexity to an already intricate tale. Is it possible that the golden couple of the music industry, renowned for their impeccable public personalities, have been hiding a dark truth behind closed doors for the entire time? Fans and industry experts alike are taken aback by the implications of even a slim possibility. Furthermore, if Bianca and Jay-Z took involved in Diddy's alleged wrongdoings, it calls into question their motivations. Are they just trying to protect their own reputations? Or is there a more sinister purpose at play? Ice Cube appears to believe as much, portraying a close-knit community of powerful individuals where morality is repressed and commitment is prized above all else.
Now is your time to weigh in on this startling tale. What do you think of Ice Cube's allegations against Beyonce and Jay-Z? Do you believe there's more to the story? Or do you believe they had something to do with Diddy's supposed transgressions? Drop a comment below and let us know your take on this jaw-dropping revelation. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay tuned for more shocking revelations from the world of hip-hop's elite.